All right, let's go ahead and develop the nutrition plan that is gonna work for you. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all these tools together in steps where you can understand how to find out how many calories you should be consuming, what your macronutrient mix should look like, and then how to adjust those to achieve your goal. So let's first start with the BMR plus physical activity. So with the workouts that are in this course, you're gonna be burning calories. The physical activity Right? There's a physical, physical activity calculator, and this calculator will help you figure out how many calories you're gonna burn. Let's just put some numbers on it. Let's say you burn 300 calories in the workout, which would be awesome. Next is your BMR. Your basal metabolic rate is how many calories you, su you should consume if you didn't, you didn't wanna gain weight or lose weight and you were just sitting down doing nothing, right? So, we do this with the BMR calculator. It's height, it's weight. Once you actually plug that in, let's say it gives you a number like 2,100 calories. So now we have the 2,100 calories plus the 300 calories. And that would tell you that if you didn't want to lose or gain weight with the workouts that you're doing, you should be consuming 2,400 calories. So that's how we figure out this number. The next step is going to be macronutrients. So you wanna figure out what your phenotype is. Now, there's three different types of body types. We have an endomorph, an ectomorph, and a mesomorph. I'm gonna do my best to describe them here and see which one you identify with. So, an ectomorph is typically somebody who has a hard time putting on weight. It could be muscle, uh, it could be just fat, but you really have, you can eat a lot of food and you pretty much don't gain weight. Now, for you, you're gonna want this type of ratio. You're gonna want about 30% of your calories coming from protein, about 40% of your calories coming from carbohydrates, and 30% of your calories coming from fats. So you take that 2,400, and then you divide that by percentages, and that'll tell you how many grams of protein, grams of carbs, and grams of fat you should be eating. The other type of phenotype, we have the mesomorph. Your mix is gonna be a more of a 40% protein, 30% carbohydrates, 30% fat. And then lastly, with the endomorph, you're gonna be about 40%. And then lastly, with the endomorph, you're gonna be about 40% protein, 20% carbohydrates, and 40% fats. So we're gonna take this percentage again into your calories that you should be consuming and now you know what kind of macros you should consume. Now, if we're going down this, we also have the macronutrient guide that's available to you. You can see it uh, linked down below. And this is gonna give you the exact calories and macros for the foods that you may wanna choose. Again, even though you can do if it fits your macros, what's gonna make you feel good during this time is going to be putting in whole nutritious foods into your body. Uh, lean meats, simple and complex carbohydrates like white rice, brown rice, sweet potatoes, uh, vegetables, fruits. This is the calorie sources that you want to be able to get the body composition that you would like to have. Now, in a time where food might be scarce, this is where the macro calculator and the, and the macro guide come in really good handy because maybe you can only get, let's say, chicken. Well, you can figure out what your macros are through this and then plug that into the calories that you have. I want this to be something which is simple, as simple as possible to follow, but also once you do these calculations, you get your baseline, and then you can figure out how to adjust from there. So uh, again, we have the macro calculator as well, which is available to you. You can use that, or if you want to do more of an if it fits your macros, my Fitness Pal is a wonderful app that you can download that has really good results where you can actually just plug in the foods that you're eating on the numbers that you've created and make sure that you don't go over those numbers. To get a little bit more in depth, the microbiome, again, this is newer studies that shows that each one of us has a different uh, gut bacteria. And this gut bacteria uh, is what tells us what type of foods we can ingest. So for instance, uh, I can eat sweet potatoes, but white potatoes I shouldn't be eating for my gut because I don't have the bacteria, bacteria in my gut to digest this food. So this is actually kind of important, especially if you wanna perform at your highest level and have energy at your highest level. You don't wanna eat things that are actually going to be detrimental to those things. And surprisingly enough, some of the foods that are considered healthy 
like a red potato might not actually be good for you. So what I've done is we've put another link to Viome. Viome is a gut intelligence test. It does wonders, you can check it out. Again, this isn't something that you have to have. I just recommend it. So let's put it all together based off of the numbers that we just had. So let's go ahead and write it down. So we figured out that your BMR in this hypothetical situation is 2,100 calories that you're burning 300 calories uh, during the workout. That equals a total of 2,400 calories. Cool. So if you would like to lose weight, you need to be eating less. You need to be in what's called a caloric deficit. So you'd want to be able to find out what your BMR plus physical activity is at 2,400 calories. And now you're going to want to ingest anywhere between 2,200 to 2300 calories just below that number and just by doing that you're going to be able to start losing weight now you have to be consistent so once you actually lose the weight let's say your weight is 190 pounds and then you lose two pounds or three pounds you're 187 you want to go back use the tools that you have there re-enter them and they're going to give you a new calorie count so maybe this calorie count after that is now 2300 calories now, to keep being a caloric deficit, you need to eat 2200. So this is how you would lose weight. This is how you're going to lose body fat, by being consistent and then also being good with the numbers of what you're doing. Now again, this is a very simple course and guide to doing something uh, for yourself during this time. Now we also offer direction <laughs> directly with private coaching that could help you through this process. But for now, this is the process that I personally take to develop nutrition plans for my clients to get them results. On the other side, so we figured out that it's 2,400 calories and maybe you want to gain weight or maybe you want to put on some muscle, which being in a caloric deficit is definitely going to help you do so. So if you're at 2,400, and you want to gain weight, again, you would make your nutrition plan for 2,500. And then as you gain weight, if you went from 190 to 192, put it back into these calculations, and then you're gonna eat 2,600. And now you see this baseline. The baseline is the most important thing for you to create. And you do this through, through the simple tools that are offered in this course. And once you have that baseline, you can start developing your nutrition plans for whatever goal that you have. So let's get to work.